Today we're showcasing my all legendary team in the Open Master League, Melmetal, Mewtwo, and Giratina. Melmetal on the lead is level 50. It's easy to get Melmetal candy because of that Pokemon Home feature in your Pokemon Go apps. You can check out a video made by Pokedaxi. It's an easy tutorial on how you could easily build Melmetal so that you have a Pokemon for the Open Master League. My Mewtwo over here is underpowered. It's only up to level 48. I haven't ground enough candies for a level 50. And the Giratina Origin in the back also is underpowered. It's only level 46. But the star of the show, grabbing the show, is my slightly spicy moveset for the Mewtwo in the back. You see, instead of the suggested double legacy moveset of Psy Strike and Shadow Ball, I am running, instead of Shadow Ball, Ice Beam. The thought process behind this is that many times I end up getting matched up against Darks like Eveltal or, as you will see in this game, the jungle monkey Zarud with a double legacy moveset you become totally helpless but now look at this do you think the Zarud will respect it it did not <laughs> dealing massive super effective damage opponent didn't see that coming we shield up this dark pulse great you reach the size strike this will be more than enough to knock out opposing Zarud over there Zacian comes back to the party but won't be able to make up for the loss the size strike will grab the final shield Giratina origin comes back to the game I'm hoping this isn't the player rough it isn't. Zacian doesn't have it. And that's all she wrote. GG. Into the next match, we have Melmetal led into a Zacian. Open Master League is still the domain of Zacian. Still a lot of Zacians running around. Some are running with Snarl, others with Quick Attack. Guys, it's just at the time of the publishing of this video, just uh, 10 days remaining in the current season. How was your season? Let me know in the comments below. I know for many of us, it is not the best setup that the final two weeks of Pokemon Go Battle League will be Master League. Well, the final week, we'll have a return of the limited Great League format. Ho and only Pokemon will be eligible. But I know for a lot of us in the community, this is going to be a bye week. I reached my second veteran finish this season. And then after that, the algorithm just kept on recommending tougher matchups against me. Won't be able to reach expert this season, so right now, I guess I'm just going to enjoy and try out these legendary Pokemon I raided over the past few months this season. As you can see, and I will repeat, my team of legendaries aren't fully powered up but that's okay i also wanted to see how far an underpowered team can go so far i'm still not able to get back to the 2500s i'm still just lingering in the 22 2300s 
enjoying training using this as an opportunity to practice catching just like what you saw over there you still grab that catch opponent de facto surrenders sees the writing on the wall as home slice henry puts it Shadow ball lands over there. We reach another. That's twice throwing on poor timing, which enables this guy over to reach a last second serve. Can we survive this? Yes, we can. And the shadow claw goes through. Another win. Next, we have Therian Landorus. These battles are not in order. I wanted to showcase that magnificent ice beam landing on the Zarud. I panicked over there. I knew that opponent was just at a superpower, but I second guessed myself. Mewtwo reaches another ice beam. This ice beam lands and deals some solid chunk damage we burn the final shield because we know that we could still reach the ice beam which we do over here this will either grab the shield or knock out opposing dialga we do knock it out and just like that mewtwo wins switch for us opponent comes back to the game with his acm but Mewtwo, putting in a lot of work, reaches a last second side strike. This will hurt, which is why opposing Zacian shielded up. Zacian reaches a charge move. Is this a wild charge? Is this a player off? Nope, it's a close combat. That was a CMP event. We're able to throw this rock slide and deal some chunk damage. This is a combat, close combat. It is going to knock out as it does. And we come back into the game with our Giratina. This is already GG because opposing Landorus won't be able to output enough damage to knock out our Giratina. Shadow Ball lands a little. I tried to catch over there. We didn't succeed. Fortunately, it's just a superpower. And we reached the Shadow Ball just in time for this GG. Into the next match, we have Melmetal leading into a Dialga. In this season's Open Master League, there's still a lot of Dialga. We farm up to barely another superpower. I ended up doing this, I adapted to doing this because whenever I build up to the back-to-back -back superpowers, Dialgas would tend to switch and would catch on a Pokemon that resists superpower. So after that, I decided that I'm not going to fall for that trick anymore. Mewtwo reaches a nice beam. Let's see, does Dialga shield is up? Dialga doesn't. And just like that, we reach mid-game with a switch advantage. We throw the side strike over here. Zacian will either have the shield or just take up that huge damage. We shield this up because we know that we can reach the side strike and play rough would have knocked us out. Side strike knocks out, opposing Zacian. In the back is a Groudon. We throw a side strike here 
and grab the final shield. That was a CMP event. Fire Punch is going to knock us out over there. That's okay, we still have two Pokemon against opponent's soloed Groudon. We farm up into the Shadow Ball, throw it over here. Yeah, you will also notice I'm running Shadow Ball and Dragon Pulse. <laughs> we have their flashy catch onto the Earthquake. We farm up to the Charge move. Opposing Groudon wants to go out swinging, throws the last second Earthquake. And just for the flex, because I haven't been using this charge move, we throw the dra Dragon Pulse. GG to our opponent. As I was saying, Dragon Pulse isn't the recommended moveset for Giratina Origin. Oh, look at this. This is satisfying. Garchomp is double weak to ice because of the dragon and ground typing. Do you think this Garchomp is expecting an ice beam? No, it is not! <laughs> what a beautiful move by... Mewtwo, Ice Beam, the surprise, spicy pick for Open Master League. Very interesting. I decided to put Dragon Pulse on my Giratina or Origin because. I found that when I matched with Eveltal or Zarud, the Giratina origin is just useless. The trade-off of course is that you don't have a bait move. But that's okay. Could just Farm down this Mel Metal into a victory. And GG. Because this Dragonite just doesn't have enough HP or luck to see this game through. Because we still have a Mel Metal in the back. There you go. But Dragonite wants to go out swinging, throws a superpower, we survive that, throw the rock slide, and knocks out the opposing Dragonite. GG, there you go.